All right, our final guest this morning is Anne Udomo. Now, she uh, uh, will be discussing adequacy in Nigerian diet. She's a clinical dietitian, I like that, content creator and a public health nutritionist. Now, she owns the Lagos Dietitian Consultancy Firm, which provides reliable nutrition education to the public and facilitates workshops for healthy living. It is great to have you all welcome. Thank hmm. you for having me. Yeah, so this one is going to be very, very practical. Yes. I'm going to be, uh, I'll, I'll, you, you, you look at my diet and see if it is actually <laughs> adequate because, no, but so mine is not adequate, so let's just leave that. <laughs> now, when you say an adequate diet, what yes. exactly do you mean? Okay, so first off, let's correct the notion. There's a difference between balance. I mean, we had balanced diet yeah. in school a lot, or I yeah. used to balanced diet. True. And an adequate diet. Hmm. So a balanced diet would be a diet that contains all classes of food needed for growth and okay. development. That's a balanced diet. That's a balanced diet. But an adequate diet contains all the classes of food in the proportion that the individual needs it based on specific requirements, which will include age, sex, current nutritional status. Is the person well? Is the person healthy? Hmm. And also the fact that what's the economic power of the individual in question? Hmm. How much money do they have available for purchase? Hmm. What foods are readily available to them? Like, for instance, some people in the north have more access to vegetables than those of us in the west. Okay. So these are all factors to consider when you're talking about adequacy. adequacy. Yes. But before someone gets into all of this, what are the requirements? Do I have to take a medical test to know my... Okay, so if I'm, you know, people in their 20s, people in their 30s, 40s, and even 50s will have different needs. Yes, yeah? that's correct. Would, would, would it require me, would I be required to take a test to maybe further know exactly what my situation is as per when it comes to individuality and all of that? Okay, so for individuals who are not necessarily ill, you don't feel ill, you're okay. not sick there might not be a need for a test. No, okay. There are, if you oh, like, standard, um, standard requirements for different age groups. So if you know that girls who are in their teenage years will require more iron. More, okay. So okay. that works. Okay. For boys in their teenage years, they will require more calories. Women who are older will need more calcium. There are, mm. different, there are different requirements for different age groups. But should you feel unwell? there would be a need to conduct, to a, conduct test a test and see, okay, what's going on. What's or if you decided to adopt a certain lifestyle, like if you decide to be vegan, you would need to go to the hospital to do a test, particularly on your electrolyte levels, so that we can see where your B12 levels are. Mm. That's a nutrient that is lacking in a vegan diet, right? Mm. So we would need to know where you are at so that we know the amount of supplementation that we're going to give to you so that you are balanced. You can because balance it out, exactly. right? Okay, so now let's 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 start from the most basic to... Okay, no, it will have to be in different classes, yeah? Yes, so let's start with maybe a young lady. Okay, um, what age range are we looking let's at? Start, let's start with teenagers. Okay. Let's start with so teenagers. So for teenagers, teenagers are... That's like when puberty is happening. So yeah. things are happening, they are going to school... They're involved in lots of activities, so calorie intake is important. So you're maybe looking at about looking at about um, 1,800 to 2,400 kilocalories. How do you even how can we calculate calories in Nigerian food? Okay, very good question. So calories like um, calories are like nutritional chemistry, um, nutritional mathematics, okay. for instance. So because that is my job to do, I will calculate for you and okay. give it to you in household measures oh, so that you okay. can relate oh, to, so okay. that you don't have to work your head There's this the thing I heard about uh, an app or something where you snap a picture or you take a scan yes. and then it can it can scan. That can, also be, um, that can also be a thing. Okay. But you also have to know that the, the developers of this app are not necessarily Nigerian and Nigerian foods were not considered. Except, you know, software developers. Oh, you calculate Amalani. We do have <laughs> When we're taking a burger exactly. and, you know, French fries right. and all of but that. But we have food composition tables that okay. are Nigerian that have been developed in our universities that dietitians use okay. so that we can, you know, calculate calories and give it to you in household measures. We want to save you the stress of having to do the calculation yourself. Okay. So if I'm calculating your calories for you, I can tell you, oh, you should eat three cooking spoons of a certain type of meal. Okay. Or this is how you should do it. This is how your plate should look like. Because there's something called my plate, where we have allowance for vegetables, mm. for carbohydrates, for fruits, and for protein. So we'll tell you how, based on the size of the plate, or maybe a quarter of this should be this, half of this should be this. That way, you have a mental picture at any time. So wherever you go, whatever part of the world you're in, 
you know what you're supposed to be eating. Wonderful. All the... Uh, uh... Older ladies, older than teenagers, so yeah. mid-age, mid-age, 20s so into 30s. Mid-age women will not require a lot of um, iron because, I mean, they are going through menopause. So. Okay. But they will require calcium because weight over the years from childbirth especially would affect the knees. The knees. So they will need calcium to have stronger bones so that arthritis don't, doesn't set in. Or even if it does, it's not as bad as it would be, as it yeah. should be. Because you know? uh, funny enough, I've had, I've had some friends yeah. who complain of About knees, knee. especially exactly. after childbirth. So you're just saying the same thing. So, so because the calcium. load from the upper body is resting on the knees, on the so knees. it will hurt. Yes. It will hurt. So they yes. need to watch out, even not like you said, I try to later on in life. So if they're already experiencing the pain, they might want to go to their hospital, family doctor, see a family physician, run a test, what are your calcium levels like? Okay, are they low? All right, let's do supplementation. So deliberately adding sources of calcium into your diet. Wonderful. Such yeah. a pleasure talking to you. Okay, so let's go for the guys now. Okay. Teenage years into the early, you know, 20s. Teenage years into 20s. Do you 20s. see where boys eat? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. So yeah, boys will require a lot more calories. I mm. mean, you're looking at for boys in their teenage years, you're looking at 2500 to 3000 calories in some cases. Okay. Because I mean, that's when everybody wants to be ripped all of a sudden. We're going to the gym. I want to have muscles. I look at my brother sometimes I'm like, oh, "Okay. <laughs> that's what you want to do. That's fine." Yeah. You know, so that is also going to be a thing. They will require calories. They will require um, proteins as well for building of muscles. You know, all of those things are meant to be in alignment. So if you say maybe um, a boy will require maybe 50 to 60 grams of protein, that's a measure for me. What I'm supposed to do is find a way to translate it to you in a measure that you will understand. That you will understand. Exactly. Mid-age men. Now we are talking about 30s into 40s. 40s. What kind of, of work are these individuals doing? Like I said, that's also physical activity and type of work is also a factor to consider in adequacy. I cannot tell you as a middle-aged man to be eating 2,500 kilocalories if you're going to be sitting down at a desk the mm. whole day mm. because you're not burning anything. You're not burning it, so... So depending on the type of work that you, you do. do, are you itinerant, are you physically active, are you always on the move? Mm. Okay, this is the type of job that you're doing. Okay, so let's find a way to balance the calories that you're doing with the work that you're doing. That you're doing. Also, are you getting physical activity done? I'm not saying are you going to the gym. You can go to the gym. That, that's, that's an option, but some people don't have the time. Yeah, but that's the thing. A lot of people so, say so much about the gym. I know this is to digress a little bit, yeah. but you could do a lot of physical activity while Without, at home. You exactly. bring the gym to the house. So, your, you know. Turn up some ashake. Yeah. You play the whole album. Yeah. I promise you, 30 you've minutes burnt, you are dancing seriously. You've burned You've burnt calories. enough, all right. Swimming, taking the stairs, cycling on a sport, jogging on a sport. I mean, gym subscriptions are quite expensive, mm, but mm. if you can yeah, afford not only it... that, going there at times, even making your way to that place, especially if it's far away from the house and all of that, that's... Some pet pressure exactly. on the ground. Exactly. Now, how about um, to the older people now, when you get into the 50s and the 60s, at that age where maybe you, your mobility is a little yes. bit restricted, not as much as it was where it would be even a younger so, age. Calories will have to be reduced because they are be not reduced. burning as much as they used to. They used but to you burn. have some older people who are still very active. Some of them are in active service. Some of them are in careers that require them to be moving. To be moving. So we cannot, exa we cannot exactly say, okay, this is the benchmark calorie that they're supposed to be having. So it's important to note what the individual is doing at that time. Mm. Their type of work, how much money they have available for purchase of food their nutrition knowledge level, because I mean, some people will say to you, oh, it's just food, I'm going to eat whatever I see. Some people are not informed, so th that conversation needs to be had. So that's like geriatric care, care okay. for older people. For older people. So th there's also that, there's, oh, does the older person have any nutritional issues? I mean, you know that it's common with older people to have like chronic diseases, whether it's diabetes, it's arthritis, hypertension. So all of these need to be considered. Taken into consideration. Yes, please. It's been a pleasure talking to you. I wish we had more time. But you're going to be with us across the whole month. Yes, please. And so, yeah, you do know what you're saying. And it's, uh, we're looking forward to the knowledge that you have to bequeath. Most definitely. You uh, you know. So, yeah, we do have some calories to give you this morning. You have some taste of uh, what we have in the kitchen for you. All Hope right. you don't mind. Uh, what, what's, what's, your, what's your own diet like? 
Uh, so it time. depends on how I'm feeling that day, to be okay. honest. But I try to make sure that I get my calories in. Sometimes I eat three times, sometimes I eat five times. But I'm, yeah, in small portions. Yeah, five times. Five times, in yeah, small you, portions. You're a champion. <laughs> yeah, let's go over to the kitchen.